there are three main types of symptoms. So the first one um, is a delusion. And that sounds like an odd word, but that basically means that a delusion is when somebody believes something that isn't real. And this belief is really strong and unshakable, and it doesn't have any evidence supporting it. And even if you try to challenge the delusion, somebody experiencing the de delusion will continue to believe it. Now there's loads of different types of delusions, but one of the commonest type of delusion in psychosis is called a persecutory delusion. And an example of that could be if somebody believes that they are the subject of a conspiracy, that the government are taping their phones or hacking into their computer, or that somebody or organisation wants to harm them. And you would understand that that is very distressing for somebody experiencing that type of delusion. There's also delusional beliefs that maybe your family members actually aren't your family, that they've been replaced by imposters, which would be incredibly scary. And there's other types of delusions where people can believe their, their thoughts are being tampered by an external organisation or that some individuals are putting their thoughts inside your head. Some people can have the experience that they believe other people can hear their thoughts, which again is really distressing. There's other types of delusions called grandiose delusions. Um, and an example of that would be feeling that you've got superhuman powers that you can maybe control the weather or that you can fly. So those are delusions um, and, and they are beliefs. Hallucinations are different from delusions because they are basically perceptions. So that is hearing or seeing or smelling or tasting or feeling someone's touching you when actually it isn't there. So the definition of a hallucination is having an experience or a sensation without any external stimuli. So the commonest type of hallucination in psychosis is called an auditory hallucination and that's effectively hearing something when it's not there. So some people might experience it like hearing a voice talking to them, telling them to do something or saying something random like the door is red or telling them to get up out of bed or maybe telling them to hurt themselves. Sometimes people hear more than one voice talking to each other about the person saying things like she's sitting in the chair, she's talking to the camera, just commenting on what the person does. And if people are experiencing auditory hallucinations, it's really distracting and it's very hard for them to have a, a conversation and it can be really distressing if the voices are saying negative things about them. But there can be visual hallucinations, so that's seeing something or somebody when, when they aren't there. And like I say, hallucinations can be in any of the sort of sensory modalities. And then the third symptom of psychosis is called thought disorder and that basically means kind of muddled or, or confused thoughts. So if people are experiencing thought disorder it can be really hard to concentrate on anything to focus um, and sometimes their speech can come out quite muddled if they're experiencing thought disorder. So those are the commonest symptoms of psychosis and you'll probably understand that that's why it affects people's mood. It can be really distressing and traumatising. People can feel really on edge, not able to sleep, feel really irritable and really suspicious of other people.